Okay, now today I'd like to uh, show you how I make my teapots. Um, now for making teapot, uh, there are several uh, parts that you need to throw and uh, some part you need to uh, do it later. Uh, for throwing, usually you want to throw the body first and then uh, you uh, make your uh, lid to fit the body and then also you need to throw a spout um, after it been dry for maybe a day or two, you trim and then uh, you attach the handle just like you attaching the handle on the mug. So that's the uh, process of uh, making a teapot. Um, for the tool need for throwing a teapot, um, of course, a uh, cowper. That uh, you want to measure the, the width so that your, fit, your lid will fit uh, tight nicely on the body. So this tool and then also you need to have a nice 90 degrees uh, wooden rib or something 90 degrees so that you can compress the uh, gallery on the lid. And also uh, for making the spout um, Usually when you kind of, kind of uh, you want a, a streak color the, the spout, uh, after you color the, the wall is become kind of thick so uh, you want to thin it down. So you want to insert some kind of, uh, uh, you can use a, a wooden stick to do that and uh, push the, uh, the spout so it will be uh, thinner. And uh, if you don't have the stick, I have a stick. And I kind of uh, grind it so it's, it's fitting nicely. And you can use a popsicle stick to uh, replace it. It's the same, okay. So that's the tool you need for making a teapot. So now let's uh, go, go ahead and throw the body first. Um, for smaller pieces, I usually throw up the hump. So just bring a chunk of clay. I uh, just using my hand to uh, to squeeze it. And usually throw up the hum, you want to have the foot a bit smaller so uh, when I'm pinching holding my my clay, I kind of using my fingertip to uh, push it so there's a little indentation there. So that way uh, after I finish making my pieces, my finger is fitting right there, it's easy for me to lift it up without trying to uh, use the fingernail. A finger to uh, to go in and then um, bring it in, and then you you messed up so uh, this is the tip making the foot a bit smaller The uh, initial lifting, I usually when the wall is still very low, and I'm just using my thumb and the finger to to grab the clay and then move it up. And the right hand is is helping to support my thumb.
and keeping my rim a bit smaller. So before I close further, uh, I just use my use a sponge to uh, clean up the base. So the final stage I'm using my finger to clean and smooth the inside, the bottom before I close further. So after I close it, my finger cannot get in unless you use a, a stretch and stick to, to do that. Um, that opening is a little bit uh, too big because when you pour the teapot, if you have a, a large opening, the water is easy to uh, come out from there. So you want to enclose the water or the tea. So make the rim a bit smaller.
Okay, so that's the uh, body on. Now I'm smoothing the rim. Um, for easier to uh, cut it more uh, flat base of the hump, you could use a uh, wooden knife. Okay, use a wooden knife to, uh, to make an undercut. And, uh, so this is the uh, cutting stream and uh, for cutting it off first you want to stretch your stream and then um, insert right there underneath of the, uh, the indentation and then move my my hand my left hand over here see that I'm almost connecting my both hand and then after that I let go of my left hand and then uh, while the wheels keep on Spinning, I'm pulling my hand horizontal. Okay, so that's the way to cut it. Stretch it and then let go and pull. That's the uh, throw of the hum. And then after that, slightly uh, spin the wheel and you will be able to remove your uh, your parts from uh, from the hump and put it aside and by the way i forget to uh, measure it so let me measure so that will be the the width of my leg put that aside So to make the lid, I'm making the gallery on the lid. So um, it will be <coughs> the uh, upside down lid. Later on, I will trim the knob. Okay, when it's later hard to trim the, the knob. And again, since the bottom part is gonna be the knob, so I don't need to have so much clay. So I'm pinching it in, so the base is smaller. And after that, I am using my thumb to make a shallow, very shallow ball with a little curve, okay? You don't want to be a straight, a little curve. And I'm making the rim a bit thicker though, okay? This part here, yes, you are going to uh, compress for the gallery so I'm making this part a bit thicker and my thumb this part here is very good to fit right there so I'm using you see that there's a curve I'm using that to compress it And you see that after that, I'm putting my finger there to hold it. So you can see it's almost there's a gallery there. And I want to bring my caliper to measure. So that's about the right uh, width with a little bit of uh, adjustment. <coughs> Ok, 
Okay, and putting my both finger okay, here and there to uh, support it while I'm pushing, okay? And again, I told you that you want to use it 90 degrees and this rib. If your rib is not in 90 degrees, use the same paper to send it, okay? Make sure you have a perfect 90 degrees. Okay, you don't have a little curve there, okay? And then I put my finger there to support it and slightly uh, squeeze the wall in and also slightly push down. So you see that I have a gallery there. Check it again. All right. Could go a bit wider. So if you are going to get it a bit wider, just slightly push. So this part could be a bit uh, taller. This is when you let it sit inside the body. This part, when you pour the, the, the tea or pour the water, uh, it's it's kind of holding in position so your lid doesn't fall off easily. Okay, so making this, this part a bit uh, longer would be fine. Let's double check that. So it's about right. Um, I usually make it a tiny little bit uh, uh, wider than the exactly size because a bit wider, I could always trim a little bit here or trim a little bit on the body so they will fit uh, perfectly. And for the little part, uh, you want your lid to fit perfectly. You wanna be uh, too loose, right? And then uh, use the shiny to clean up. And from the angle, you see that I'm slightly uh, pushing it, so there's a little uh, slanted, okay, a little ta taper, so meaning. This part is a tiny little bit wider and that part is a bit smaller so it's easier for you to, uh, to drop in. Not too much though, not too much. Just a tiny little bit. And then I cleaned up the bottom part. I'm using my finger to uh, kind of Squeeze it a little, a little uh, curve here. You see that there's still extra clay. I will be just using my knife to uh, trim it up. It will be very easy. Okay. So just squeeze a little, little uh, indentation here. And then I make sure that I have enough room for me to trim the nub. So I'm pushing the plate down. So that should be enough for reserve for me to make in the nub. And this doesn't like uh, look like a very nice looking lid, but. Uh, you can either uh, trim it now or can trim it later when it's there. So I'm going to just uh, trim it now, just a little bit.
And this part is always adjustable when you are ready to trim it. Final check in. Get a little bit wider than the body, so that should be fine. And now, again, cut it off and use a uh, wooden knife to do that. I usually uh, don't bother, you just use my fingernail to make a small indentation. Let go and pull. So that's the lid. And now I told you that uh, we will need to make three parts for the teapot now when you throw the body, the lid, and the spout. For spout, I just need a small chunk of clay. Basically, you are going to throw a small bottle with the bottom wider and the top smaller. It's like a bottle. There's a long neck bottle. That's the uh, spout. So just use my finger to uh, pinch and lift the wall and while keeping this part a bit wider so I could stretch it out a little bit here and then move in. So for making the spell, you will need to consider the size. If, it, if the size is fitting the size of your body, you don't make it too small or too big. Right, so I think the size here is good, that is fitting, I compare with my body. And then after this part is finished, all you need to do is color and making the spout smaller. And use it when you're coloring, making it narrower, the wall become thicker now. So you have to uh, go back and thin it down. And since my finger is too too big to uh, to go in there, so that's why I told you at the beginning of the the video, uh, you want to have a stick and then uh, you want to insert it and uh, to thin down the wall. So insert my stick here. And then uh, basically the left hand, okay, this finger is holding on the wall here. And I'm going to use my thumb, the tip of my thumb. Okay, there's again, there's a curve here too. 
right there's a curve so using the curve and pushing the wall against against the stick that I'm gonna insert inside and to uh, to thin it down and take your time no rush okay you can do uh, a couple times Alright, so you see the wall is a bit thinner, then I'm going to color, color a little bit more. So that should be good, and then um, just use a uh, chamois to s smooth out the uh, surface. using my wooden knife to, to cut the base a little bit further. Okay, so after throwing the uh, the spout, I usually will use a uh, heat gun to try the surface a little bit until I don't feel sticky, and then I'm going to bend it. So I have to try a couple minutes, okay, I would say a couple minutes. Um, see the surface is dry, so uh, I can touch it without getting sticky. Um, of course, you need to have a dry fingers, okay, I try my fingers. Um, but here on the, the very top, I still keep the moisture. I don't want to over dry it because when I bend it, if it's over dry, you will have a crack. So that... Uh, the stage of a dryness is very really important. So now I'll cut it off, and then uh, I'm going to uh, bend it. Okay, bend it, and uh, to bend it, because uh, when I throw the uh, the the rim, 
it's not a perfectly straight because I don't bother to cut it because uh, eventually I will cut the tip of uh, the spout but now I'm just finding the higher point okay, some spot that is higher and that is going to be on the bottom so I'm using the higher point here and then I'm going to move and bend it so the higher point will be on the bottom slowly bend it okay Right, so that's the uh, spot that I, I bend it. And if I bend it and you can see from uh, this angle, uh, this part here has a little dent, right? So uh, that doesn't follow that the spout. So I will cut it open and then uh, try to push it from inside. So since I'm gonna cut the uh, spout anyway, so just make sure that I cut it right here and then cut it in an angle okay so that's the uh, spout that I cut in an angle because I'm going to attach that anyway so just cut it so my finger can go in easier and also to push that uh, the curve up a bit see the curve now I'm moving it up a bit so that is following the curve that I bend. Right. And if you think the uh, portion here is too thick, maybe uh, now or maybe even later, you can just come here and then uh, pinch it. So this part will be thinner okay i'll probably come back and, and do that this the uh, inside is a little bit too wet um i will wait till the moisture come come out a little bit and then come back and then pinch a little bit okay so for now i'm just let it sit okay let it sit so that's the uh, teapot um, parts that then you need to throw at the same day so you will have a nicer, a better fitting, especially the lid and the body. And I will show you how I assemble it later on, okay? Mm -hmm.